dis quand Are you blind? Then did you see those clothes soaked down here? Then did you not wash that clothes and you allow them to leave? Oh. Ah, that will... Mercy, listen to me. Whatever I do with those kids is your business. And whatever I do with them is my business. So carry this your manners and go inside and leave me alone. What, what is wrong with you? So you should allow children... Manless woman. Oh, permission. You need, you need, you need permission, right? What do you think is going on? I mean, yesterday, they refused to do what you asked them to do. They were running around daring you to catch them. That you have to do all the choice all by yourself. Today again, they left without doing any choice. Game. But whatever game they are playing, I mean, fall to the task. For here. Anyway, I'll be here when they come back. And when they come back, their name will be Sorry. I think. You should just go do the church before it's too late. They're playing game with me. I, messless messy, I am the master of game. We had fun. And? Adam, do you believe that we did not eat anything and we told them nothing? Good. Now remember, no more reporting to anyone. Let Aunt Tracy and Kevin be the one reporting, okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. But Uncle Adam, mm -hmm. if they report to Mommy, Mommy will be mad at us. No, Mommy will not be mad at you. It is normal for children to report adults. But when an adult reports a child, the person he or she reported to will know there is something wrong, okay? Okay. I try to say that if Auntie Mercy reports us to mommy, mm -hmm. mommy will think something is wrong. Exactly. And she will pay more attention. Okay? Good. Now listen to me. You're going to remain here with me until she comes begging before you go in. Okay? Okay, Cindy, let's go get that chair. Let's go.
hours a day need them. Tiring. Lisa, you need to take a break. I know. I know. And your body needs massage. What? You heard me, Lisa. Lisa, you're tired and tense. What your body needs now is a thorough massage. So you can sleep like a baby. Huh. I'm sure you know you need it. I would have offered to do that, but I know your boyfriend would have said. Mm. I don't know you are a Marcelo. Well, um, I'm a lot of things you know as well. Adam, I don't like your tone. And how is my tone? As if, as if you, 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 I you're... want you. Yes. Of course I do. You're a beautiful woman, Lydia, and there's no right thinking man that would not want to have you. I'm engaged. Thank you, you're not married. And I doubt you're engaged, you should learn how to take care of you. Listen, Nida, if you're my woman, I will not let you walk yourself to death. Really? Look, I can take care of myself. I don't need a man to take care of me, okay? Oh, you don't? Are you sure you don't need a man to take care of you, baby? Is that what you're saying to me? You can take care of yourself. Adam. Adam, please. Adam, please what? Adam, please don't kiss me. Adam. God. I've been dying to do this ever since I set my eyes on you. But the reality far surpasses the fantasy. Fantasy? Adam, you mean you fantasized about me? Yes, Lydia. I have a lot of fantasies about you. Um, um, I know I'm crossing the boundary here, but I am not sorry at all. Yeah, I think you need to go in now. Okay. Let me go back. Mercy, can this pot contain a bucket of water? Then what is the point? Children, I will flood them until they die. 
Like a wolf. And that's exactly what they are. Uncle Adam, you are strong. Girl. Hmm. I like it. I like it. But I think it's time. Time for what? No more hide and seek in this house. Hide and seek? Is that what we have been doing? Yes. But I think it's time for open battle. Open battle? <laughs> How? So what I'm trying to say is this. If you want to pour water in her soup, huh? Do that way she will see you. Pour it and run away. Ha! She will kill me. That is if she catches you. Cindy, don't tell me you cannot outrun her. Mm -hmm. Uncle Adam, maybe in this way, they will report us to mommy. And mommy will take something as wrong as Exactly! She exactly! So, are we ready to take this battle to an open field? Yes! Nice one! Give it to me. Yes! Let me see if they are going to win us in this house. All of us! We are going to fight them once they run away from this house. What was that for? Where were you running away from? A man. Man? You call that a man? My own gate man? Mercy! How do you expect me to stoop so low? To put up a fight with my own gate man? There are ways of dealing with people like Adams. There are ways of dealing with them. Then, fire him once and for all! Mercy, now you are talking. Now you are talking. But don't worry. Calm down. I will take care of him. As for Adams, I will take care of him. But Mercy. The soup. I'm hungry. Don't worry. I'll pay you some days. <laughs> you are the best, Mercy. You are the best. Best, last Mercy. Missus to give us small food and we have not eaten since morning. So we need to eat. I don't know. It's this doctor that did this, so I'm not gonna Hey hey! What is happening here? Cindy and Christopher. What are you doing? Eating. How did they get into this place? With our key. What? You have a key that I don't know in this house. With our own key. How do you think we get into this house when no one is around? And it's only a gatesman or quadrant that is around. Ha! Okay. What are you eating? Food. I know. Then how what, did, how did what you, you ask? How did you get the food? I made it. I can cook, you know. Kiri Kiri stop. You mean you walk into my kitchen? It is not your kitchen. It is our mother's kitchen. Mm -hmm. Her gas cooker, her food stuff, her pots, her everything. How dare you? Capriata, how dare you? How dare we, Aunt Mercy? I'm not afraid of you. I'm only respecting you, which I said before. You don't deserve it. Let's get the sound of you.
Cindy and Krista. You didn't even bother to welcome me. You are still on this game. Cindy, Krista, now go and read your books. Go and read your books. By the way, where is Mercy? Mercy! 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 If she doesn't, it will sow a seed of doubt in her mind. And remember, Krista didn't say anything before. If you report this case, things might change. Obago. Mercy. Obago. So what do you suggest we should do? Makano Obago, dear! Obago. Oh. I think, yeah, I think we should play the game with them and let's see who gets tired first. Finish out. In us together. You don't need to worry yourself, 
Shut up, just little kid. What is going wrong with them? You the shop, Kelly. Messi, let me get something outside, please. In my dear. Messi. In my dear, in my together. Where is this, uh, Adam? Take it. Wash it. Your boyfriend. <laughs> is not in the room. <sighs> then how am I going to watch the Naruto? Is that where the most starts? Oh my Ooh, god. The battery. <sighs> what is the problem? Auntie Mercy, the battery is not in the room. Mm -hmm. What about the TV in your room? It is not working. <laughs> I guess there's no TV for you this night. <laughs> what TV? It's about to start. Really? <laughs> Are you sure she's not the one that removed the battery in the remote? Crystal, I don't want. I just want to watch the Naruto. See, they stop acting like a baby. We will get her back. Yes, it is game on. <laughs> Let me self watch the Naruto. Oh, give me this. <laughs> hey! hey! The Naruto is not working. What? Order me to massage your body. You can sleep like a baby. Adam. I will be purely professional. Please. Okay, fine. Try that. No. Just take your body inside. Alright. Thank you.
Sit down, Christabel. You sleep in your mommy's room. Can we? Yes, of course you can. So where will I sleep? Not my business. You can sleep anywhere you choose to sleep, but not anywhere close to the children's room. I will sleep where I choose to you sleep. You will not! Who do you think you are? Listen and listen carefully. You might be her boyfriend. See, yes. Oh, whatever I choose to call yourself, I don't give a damn. Okay? You have to stay away from her until she works on her own. But if you don't, may God help you. Because I will give you the traction that has been coming. Chris Abel, Cindy, if he wakes your mom, quickly call me. Yes, sir. Yes, Champion. Change to my night way. I'm waiting. I think you should go to my room and sleep. No, 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 no. I was sleeping. But why? The gate man said that the madame is not waking up anytime soon. What if this is a setup? And what if she just pretended to sleep? Waiting for me to come to your room so she can catch us red handed. Yeah, you are there. You are together. It was sharp. Hmm, they might be pretending. Ha! Huh. Exactly. So please go to your room. I want to sleep here. Again. I bother them. Let them wait. And wait in vain. Good night, my love. Give it to me. What are you watching? What are you even watching? Lots of business. Eh? Oh, yeah. Give me the remote. No. Give me the remote. No. Come on. Very tired. Yes. By the way, where is Kelvin? Hey, Kelvin. Anyway, never mind. Mercy, please. Prepare me something to eat. I am very hungry. I'll just go inside, freshen up, and come out. Yes, ma'am. Oh. oh, yeah. Tell them. No. Uh, I like to watch TV with the both of you. That is why I haven't told you. <laughs> I don't want you guys locked up in your room. Hmm? I love you, kids. I love you. Oh. Mm. Thank you, Uncle Calvin. Mm. Kevin, what is it? Oh, she's tickling me, and she knows how ticklish I am. <laughs> Cindy, stop tickling him. I will stop only if he lets go of me. Uh -huh. <coughs> 
sorry. Are you okay? Of course, I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> cool. Mom. Yeah. You know that Uncle Calvin is the best. Oh. <laughs> they are the sweetest angel. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can see you and my daughters now love each other so much. I'm impressed. This is really nice. Good job, Kelvin. for what you did yesterday. I knew exactly what I needed. Well, really? Uh, then thank me properly. <laughs> properly. Adam, my kids. Look, you need to stop doing this, okay? Do you mean to tell me that you prefer him to me? Adam, what do you want? You and Lydia. Lydia, allow me to take you out for a lunch tomorrow. I, I want to make love to you. Look, I'm engaged, okay? Lydia, forget it. I know you don't love him. And he doesn't love you either. Lydia, I, I love you so much. I love you. Ada! That should not be a secret to you. Why do you think I care so much? Why do you think I notice everything that happens? Lydia, I, I, I care so much about you. I love you. I want to pump you and take care of you. Look, I can't take care of my I No. I, I, I just want any which way we can be together. I want you, Lydia. See, I, I don't know what to say. Ah, I know you are attracted to me. And I also know that you love me so very much. You like me so much. That's why you're able to tolerate my excesses in this house. Well, as a matter of fact, I like you. I like you a lot. But you see... Then, tell me you think about it. Tell me you think about me. Tell me you think about us. The possibility of us being together as one. Well. I don't know. Just tell me you think about it. I love you and I do. I mean it. God, what is wrong with me? Why do I feel so happy knowing he loves me? Why do I so much want to say it back to him? Do I love him? How can I when I am engaged to care of him? Oh, God. Lydia. Lydia. Oh, uh, yes. I. I'll think about it. Thank you. All right. Uh, take care of yourself. By the way, where is Mercy? Oh, she told me she was going to get something outside the gate. Okay, um, just go. Go back to your duty post, okay? Okay. Okay, look. I am tired of being all this house choice in this house. I'm tired. Eh? You, you just balance for here. Doing nothing. Balance like a wheelbarrow. Watching TV. You promised to talk to Lydia to fire that Mboye Adamu. But nothing. You promised to tell Lydia. 
to talk to this, to talk her, talk to her devilish children. But you did nothing. You just balanced like ice water. Eh? But why? Kevo. Kevo. Mercy. I'm doing something. Kevo, you're not doing anything. What are you doing? I know your problem. Your problem is because you're not the one doing all the work for here. I'm the one doing the work. Messi, I'm thinking. It seems their rebellion is working to our own advantage. Lydia thinks her daughters and I is getting along, as in loving each other. I think I will move the wedding forward. No more waiting. Okay. So she dies, inherits all the property, including the children. No, 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 no. No. We send them back to their father. Why? Eh? We need the children to do all the boy boy work, to do everything we need. All the housework. All this place. You are right. Man, man. You are just too smart. That's me. Messless. Messy. That's me. Messless. You know, together. Yes. In the shop. Anything you want, my love. Mm -hmm. Just go buy it. Yeah, check it out. Ciao. Don't look again. For the yeah. Man, man. Love him. That is the reason she agreed to marry him. No. Listen to me, Crystal. None of this is your fault or your sister's fault. Okay? Your mommy, your mommy is already engaged to Uncle Kevin. That means she agreed to marry him. But it's not your mommy's fault either. Okay? All this whole thing is happening because. Aunt Missy and Uncle Kevin are evil. It's their fault. So, what are we going to do? Crystal, you're going to do nothing. I'll take care of everything myself. But, but... No but, Crystal. Come on, I'm sure you know I love you and your sister. We love you too. And I, I love your mom more. You do? Yes, I do. Why I'm saying that, I will never... Let anything happen to her. No one will hurt her, okay? Promise. I promise. Cross your heart. I promise and cross my heart, okay? No one will hurt her. Okay. Okay. Wipe off the tears, okay? Now you go in and then no one. Not even Cindy. Not even Cindy. This is between you and I, okay? Okay. Alright? You'll be fine, okay? Adam! Adam! How are you going to handle this?
w welcome. Oh, thank you. And um, how was your day? Fine. Okay, um, I'm sorry, um, have you thought about what I told you? I'm still thinking about it, Adam. Um, what seems to be the problem? Is it that you can't see yourself dating your kid, man? Adam. Okay, 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 fine. I, I, I won't be your good man. I, I'll be your boyfriend. I'll be the man that loves you. I'll be the man who's willing to do anything for you, including laying his life. Yes. Adams, I am not bothered about your status. I'm only confused. I'm confused about this whole thing. Because of Kerry. Because he doesn't make you tremble, do I make you see when you're with me? Adam, stop! God, you drive me crazy. <laughs> you deserve it, you know. Look, I can't concentrate at work anymore. Why are you doing this? So, um. Do you like my choice of dinner for you? I love it. Oh. <laughs> you seem to know you seem to know what I like. And how did you acquire such knowledge about me? Well, that's my little secret. Anyway, I'm I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I do. Mm. Adam, you're spoiling me. Oh come on, baby. You, you deserve that. You deserve it. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, good night. All right. And dream about me. <laughs> I don't see you later. Okay.
Uncle, Uncle, can you believe that Auntie Mercy and Uncle Kelvin, they refuse to report us to our mommy. Uh. Are you serious? Oh, I, I didn't know that these guys had smart as this. So what are you going to do now? Krista, Cindy, don't tell me you guys are already tired. The battle is just beginning. We need to intensify the battle, okay? How? We need to play those pranks they can never ignore. We need to force their hands. Hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. Crystal. Come, let's go make another plan. Come on, let's go. Nice this way again. Okay. Girls, I observe you now got along with Uncle Kelvin. So we have decided to fix a date for the wedding for a month now. No! What? We don't like him. We hate him. He's evil. What you said you love him. I heard you. That is because we're only playing pranks with him. Pranks? Yes. <sighs> Mommy, I was biting him and he was screaming. But he told you that I was tickling him. He kisses Auntie Mercy all the time. And they punish us. And they also make us do all the house chores. They starve us. And they sleep in your room. Cindy, stop! What is wrong with you? You said you love me. You see? You lied. You lied. Is it because you want your mom and your dad to come back together? Cindy, my love. Sweetheart, your father and I will never be family again. I thought you've gotten over it. Mommy, we hate him. He's evil. Mom, we know that, Mom. But Cindy's telling you the truth. Mom, he's lying. He's wicked and he's evil, Mom. Stop it, both of you. Crystal, I know you hate the idea of me marrying another man. But this is reality, girls. Mom, Mom, you can marry Uncle Adam. Mom, Mom, he's nice. He loves us. Uncle Kevin loves you too. No, he doesn't. What is all this about marrying Adam? Or did he put it up to you? Crystal, did he? No, he did not. Mom, why can't you believe us? Why can't you believe your own daughters? You can't believe us! Yes, sweetheart, that is not true. No, you don't. You believe everybody but us. We don't want him. How can you say that? Cindy! Cindy! Come back here! Let her go, Ronnie. Mom! Be fine. Congratulations, Mom. Mom, congratulations! Congratulations, Mom! Congratulations! Krista! Sweetheart, Krista! Oh, God. Oh, my God. I thought they must have got, gotten over losing their dad. My love, you don't need to work yourself up with this, okay? Mm -hmm. Everything will be fine. I think we're running late. Yes. Shall we now? Yes, please. Cindy and Christopher, I heard your mom shouting at you. What happened? Is everything okay? Why can't she believe us? I hate her. Hey, Siri, don't say that. It is true. It is oh, not. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's okay, Cindy and Christopher. Okay? Just calm down. Everything will be fine. Huh? Can you believe that our mom say she will marry Uncle Kelvin in a month's time? What? She said so? Yes. We told her everything, but she did not believe us. Uncle Adam, why? We have never lied to her before. We've never. I know, I know. Just calm down, okay? Um, calm down. I, I promise you, 
Everything will be fine, alright? Let's calm yes. down. Okay, let's go to my house. Wait, let me love you. I know you don't want me to marry another man but you see your father and I we can never be together again I don't you understand that <laughs> Bob I do but if Uncle Kelvin would not want you to marry but why Bob because he's evil <laughs> Bob is evil so you want me to marry Uncle Adam yes but why? Because he's kind. He loves us. And he also loves you too, Mom. Mom, he loves you. So he told you Kevin is evil? Uh, no, because that is because he's evil. He, he's very evil. And, and I'm not sure he even has mercy that God is for your death. <laughs> Cindy, what are you talking about, honey? He's trying to kill me. I see mercy and I'll go kill me. The plan is to kill you. Okay, <laughs> calm down. Relax. See, nothing is going to. But did Adam. Did he say anything? No, Mom. He told me I should not tell you, but I will listen to him. I have to tell you, Mom. I, I don't want you to die. Listen, sweetheart. Nothing is going to happen to me, okay? <laughs> yes, well. Christabel, Ma? nobody's going to hurt me. I won't let them. Okay. okay. So, I know how you feel. Stop crying. I want you to go to your room. I'll come and talk to you girls later, okay? Okay, Ma. Stop crying. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, I know how you feel. Okay, I love you, Mom. I love you too, baby. It's okay, go to your room, okay? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> told me she wants me to marry you instead of Kelvin. So what nonsense are you talking about? And was that before they told you what your boyfriend does in your absence or after? You do have guts, you know. For you to convince my kids. Just for me to give you a chance. Adam, that is so low. That is so low. Whoa. Is that what you really think? You think your daughter's IQ are so low that you don't know when someone is bullying them? You also think that I, Adam, cannot get a woman of my choice? That I will have to stoop to manipulating her kids to get to her? Wait, is that really what you think I am? Oh, wow! Bravo! You, you, you do have guts. I mean, bothering me up. But you know what? You made the wrong move when you decided to go after my kids. Fed them with lies and you fed them. What was that? If you find out that your kids are kids, what have you done to know why? 
Are you bothered to know why? Because you told them Kelvin is trying to kill me. Oh, Christopher told you. Then why are we having this discussion? Instead of you going after those bastards in and out of this house. No, but you stand there to accuse me of what I know nothing about. I'm sure that will make you happy. No, Mister. no. I want the both of them locked up. But before then, I need them out of this house. Really? Yes. Oh, I see. You have it all planned out. Mr. Ada, you sure have got. You know, I want you to go in there, get your things, and get the hell out of my house. What? You heard me, Ada. Ada, get out. You're fired! Are you all right? I am fired. Why? You asked me why? Yes! Huh. He asked me why I fired him. You know what? I don't care. Listen, get your things and get the hell out of my house. But that is not possible. You can't possibly ask me to leave this house. You, you, you can't make me leave. No, you can't. You say what? Who the hell do you think you are? I can't make you leave? You think you're in charge? Because I let you kiss me, that tiny little kiss? No. No, Lydia. I did more than kissing you. I did more than kissing you, Lydia. Yes. You did what? I did more than kissing you. Oh, okay. Look, because I wanted to see how far you would go with this crazy ambition of yours. I am a good woman. I was only looking for a nice way to let you down easily okay but listen up i run a bank and i don't do that by being nice wait a minute Ada, what makes you think that i lydia or kosisi will condescend to date my gay man you don't know me one bit you don't know me you know what get your things and get the hell out of my house or i'll force you out Yes. Live in peace. Yes, yes, yes. I know it will get to this. I know it will get to this. But you don't have to always remind me that I'm a git man or that git man. I know. Yes. But what I'm saying is that what you're doing is not fair. It's not fair, Lydia. It's not. Okay. I'll pay you your severance fee. It's not like you deserve it anyway, but I'll give it to you. So just get out of my house. Just to this. Just to me, I am always some people around and I've made friends already. Just two days to sort out my affairs and I'm off. Okay. Just two days, Mr. Ada. Okay? Nothing more. But if you try anything stupid around my kids, you will sit the other side of me. Lydia. Oh, sorry, madam. She always try to listen to your kids. It's very important. Thank you very much. I always listen to my children. Thank you, Mr. Adam. Thank you. No. One more thing. Stay away from my daughter. Or else I will make you sorry. Don't you dare me. No, I did the right thing. Then why do I feel as if I am wrong? <sighs> that is because you were beginning to develop tender feelings for him. Mm. Sit 
Please have it. I can't see it's about me. You need to go in, okay? Please, you need to go in. Uncle Adam, that's not the issue. I mean, what are you saying? You can't go! Krista, Krista, I don't want to go either. But your mother fired me. We will beg her. It will be good. Uncle Adam, please don't go. Don't go. <laughs> No, no, this is about you, okay? It's not about you. No! I won't let you go! I won't! You promised me I you go to her! Christopher, Christopher, please come back! Come Uncle, back! Uncle Adam, will you take us with you? My love. I promise everything will be okay, okay? I promise you. Cindy and Krista, can't you see it's drizzling? Will you get inside? No! Leave us alone! Go away! Oh, you, you, you think I'll be moved with these tears? Uh, it doesn't work. These plans cannot get me. Hmm. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Your mom loves me so much. That she will never believe all the lies you're telling her yeah, about me. Yeah, no lies. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's go.
Maybe I should go and talk to her. No. I think I'll have to go first. Once she realizes I'm not interested in her money, then she will listen. But if she does not, uh, I think I, I still have one month to convince her. I miss him. He will do anything to brighten my day. The only person who truly cares of the kind of day I had. No, all of that was an act. My love. How was your day? Mm, just home waiting for you. Did you miss me? Mm, so very much. <laughs> I didn't miss How you. How are my babies? Oh. Hey, sweetie. My darling. Welcome, mommy. Thank you, love. How was your day? Fine, mommy. Angels, what is wrong? Nothing, mommy. Mom, please, can we go back to our room now? Honey. What is wrong with them? I think their mind is in whatever program you are watching. Program? Mm hmm See, my love, I have something to tell you. What is it? First, you must tell me why you're home early today. <laughs> my love, I am only trying to do better. Look, I don't want you to be complaining I'm coming home late every day. My love, I'm not complaining. 
Are you sure? I know how many hours you need to work, but everything is fine, okay? Okay. Mm. Thank you. Now, I'll take you upstairs, take some good showers, then get something to eat. All right. How about that? That's fine. Now, after you. Or should I back you? Oh. to go to our room and eat. Your room? To eat? But why? I thought we always eat together when I'm around. No. I, 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 I thought maybe, maybe you would like to discuss with un 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 uncle, uh, our new daddy about your new we're ready. All right. Okay. Something is not right. Ma'am, your food is ready. Okay. Kelvin! Kelvin, sweetie! Messi, the food can wait. I'm coming. What is it? Nothing, Mom. My angel, I am your mother. I love you and your sister so much. Sweetheart, I know something is bothering you. How can I fix it if you don't tell me what is wrong? Mom. Mom. Cindy and I have been causing trouble. Mom, we are sorry. We promise to be a good daughter. Mom, I love you. I love you too, baby. I love you, sweetheart. Stop this thing with me. What the hell is going on? Your daughters, okay? I can never. 
Wait, I didn't. I mean. I. I mean. Yes, he did. He did. I get it. You want me gone. I promise you by this time tomorrow, I'll be out of this house. Or do you want me to live right away? Uh, That's what will make me happy. You don't have to be right. What happened? You didn't come home with your car, were you? Shh. I want to know what is going on in my house. Nothing is going on in your house. Adam, see, my kids are acting weird. I know something is wrong somewhere. about them. They, they're acting funny. Like seriously. My goodness. These kids, they've been trying to pass a message to you. They've been trying to tell you that everything is not right in this house. I'm surprised you're just realizing that. Now what do you want me to do? I should clap for you, right? Hmm? Adam, I know you think I'm a bad mother, but I love my kids. See, everything I've done, I did for them, including my engagement to Kelvin. No, you're not a bad mother, Lydia. I'm sorry, madam. Well, sometimes, all they want... Uh, never mind, I, I don't want to get involved here. Oh, madam, help me out here now, eh? See, something is not right. My kids, the same lost. They seem subdued, as if they lost someone they love. They don't even want to be with me. What is going on? You mean they seem to resign? Something like that? Yes. But what have they resigned themselves to? What? Um, but why the sudden concern? If I may ask. Um, something is not right with my children. I need to know what is going on in this house. Mm -hmm. Have you suddenly forgotten I'm the one that paid them with lies and got them scared? Huh? Have you? Fine. Don't help me. I'll just go back to the office. Then I'll apply for emergency leave. I'll come back to this house and stay here the whole day until I get to the root of the matter. No. No. Staying at home will not solve the problem. It's not the issue here. Yeah. Then help me, Adam. Krista told me you love them. Yes, I do. Fine. So help me. Do it for their sake. I, I will only do this because of the kids. But you're home so early. This is not the time. Okay, too early. This is not the time. All right. You know what? I'll just go in and stay in your room all day, okay? I'll stay there. My room? Yes. Once you see anything, any movement or anything whatsoever, please alert me. Yeah? Please.
now. <sighs> Miss, I, I thought you said that since I'm going tomorrow, that will be feeding me properly for a change. Yes, I said so. But I, I, I changed my mind because you don't deserve any of my kindness, Adamu. Adam, you threatened me. Moi, mercy. You called me evil because of those little brats. <laughs> Adamu. Look at you. How you are. You are the one that is being sacked from your job. And I am gallantly in charge for here. For this place. For this my arena. How you are. <laughs> Let me ask you. When you are gone, who will protect those kids? Tell me. <laughs> oh, miss, you know what? When I look at you, I pity you. I pity you because it's only a senseless human being who have the mind to treat these defenseless, innocent children the way you do. Nay, hey, yes, you're laughing now. But let me tell you, the camera that will visit you is on the way. Yes. And I'm attacking dragons. Aradite, nonsense. Rubbish, that's what you're talking for here. That's what you're doing. Because, anyway, are you thinking that those kids we keep telling their mother? Eh? No way, Adam. The kids are afraid because, they, in fact, they promise that they will not tell their mother because if they do, we hurt her mother. So they are terrified. They are scared. <laughs> Miss, you know what? You are very, very wicked. You are heartless. Mm. You are evil. <laughs> Adam, I know. My father taught me. He said, mercy, be merciless. The world is merciless. And if you must conquer, you must be merciless. So I'm doing it. <laughs> anyway, enjoy the food while it lasts. Because you don't know when you eat again. Eh? Enjoy it. But when you finish, it will work out. Yes, it's for here. Because I chow and go I'm totally in charge, but no, I'm in charge for here. I am in charge for life. For here. They hear me. This is what she feeds my daughters. Make sure that they don't starve. God, oh God. Yes. Everything <laughs> got worse when she started sleeping with your boyfriend. What? Yes. I hope you kill this girl. <laughs> Lydia. Lydia. You have to go in. Your kids will soon be here. They'll be here any moment. <laughs> What are you doing outside? Can't you see it's drizzling? Oh, come on, come this way. What is it again? Uncle Adam, they had made to give you food. Yes, she did. And why did he ask? Uncle Adam, she did not give us any food. And what am I eating yesterday? Uncle Adam, please don't leave. Uncle Adam, please. You promised you would take care of us. Christian, 
Friend, let's not talk about the promise, okay? I, I'll keep to my promise. Besides, I, I, I crossed my heart and I swore to die. Yes, so you don't have to break it. Krista, I won't. Uncle Adam, do you have any food? No. Did they lock you guys out again? Yes. Uncle Adam, do you believe that? Auntie Macy locked us outside and she collected our key. Okay, um, let me think about it. Um, okay, the problem now is hunger, right? Yes. Fine, let's focus on that. Um, yes, I, I have an idea. Let me call Jenny so she can come and take you guys to an eat food, so you can eat your satisfaction. Uncle Adam, who is Jenny? <laughs> Never mind, okay? I'll explain to you, okay? Okay. Uncle Adam, yes. can we take takeaway? Exactly. Eat whatever you want and you deserve it. The both of you. Okay? I love you, Uncle Adam. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love you, Mom. No, Uncle Adam, you say you love our mommy more. Mom. I love your mom most, okay? <laughs> Wait, I mean, how often you probably forget? And after that, I'll use my speaker and open the door. I'm sneaking and think to something fast, okay? okay. Alright? Let me call again.
I'm sure you feel better now, right? I don't feel better. I won't feel better until those idiots are out of my house. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll wait. I'll wait until they open that door. I'll wait. You, you don't have to wait, okay? I I still have the spare key to the house. Adam, you have the spare key to my house? Lydia, it's not actually what you think. You know, your kids are still very young. And if Messi should find out that they have the key, she will find a means to collect it from them. That's why I did. Fine. Okay. No problem. I don't care. I'm not angry. Just bring the key. The key? Yes. I want to catch them in the act. Bring the key. <laughs> Messi. Come down, no. Come down, okay? Come 
and my logo. Bafele. Can I get the leg of my shoes, sir? Look out of here before I descend on you! Out of here! I hope you guys have fun. Yes, we do. Oh, I can see your face is shining. <laughs> so tell me what and what did you eat? Ooh, ice cream, you pie. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! Your bag and Uncle Adam did tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm back for you. Cindy, Krista. I am truly sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't believe what you said about Mercy and Kelvin. Please forgive me. Don't worry, Mom. They promise they won't hurt you. No, they won't. They no longer live here. What? Yes. I threw them out of the house. You did? Yes, I did. Cindy, remember I told you I will investigate the matter. So I did. And Uncle Adam helped me out. So I threw them out of our house. Immediately I found out exactly who they are. Yay! Thank you, Mommy. Mommy, thank you. Thank you for keeping your promise. Uncle Adam, thank you. And thank you too for being so brave. You know, I was scared. I was scared too. You know, but like they say, being brave is what you're supposed to do, even when you're scared. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Lydia. I, I have to leave. Leave? Adam, you can't possibly leave now. No, Adam. But you said you love us. Mm, you said so. Yes. I love all of you. But my attention is needed somewhere now. Adam. Adam. Adam, please. I am truly sorry for all the things I said to you about me not dating my gate man. But you know, it doesn't matter to me. Adam, I already love you. See... I was only scared and confused that I might be wrong about Mercy and Kelvin. That was why I lashed out on you. I didn't mean to, please. I know that. Then why are you leaving? Uncle Adam, marry her now. Christabel. Yes, I agree with your daughter. But you've not asked. You know, I asked Kevin to marry me. I don't know how you feel if I asked you 
to, you know. Oh, you're right about that. <laughs> Please forgive me. You know, I am, I'm old-fashioned. I'm not used to... I'll marry you. Oh my God. Wow. Wonderful. Oh my God. Yes. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you so much. Lydia. Yes. I promise you never will never this. I am not planning to. <laughs> You're not going to forget it again. Okay. Ah, oh, but at the same time, I I still have to leave. What? Why? Lydia. Yes. Please can you see? Okay. Um, <clears throat> Lydia. I am not actually who you think I am. Yes. I am not just your gate man. Ada. What are you saying? Um, the first time I met you was six months ago. Yes. Uh, in one of my supermarkets. What? He, you are actually making calls that day. And I think you were talking to your ex. And we are so concerned about the way of your daughters. Yes, um, I'm sorry I listened to your conversations, but I'm glad I did. Because I like what I heard, and I like what I saw. I wanted a woman like you. I wanted a woman who would do anything for the ones she loves. So I, I followed you home. And my intention was to apply for your driver so I can be close to you. But unfortunately, you said you're not in need of a driver. So I, I was... 
I was left with no option than to apply for a post of a gate man. And my intention was that maybe probably under three months I will be able to seduce you. But funny enough, my three months lingered, lingered up to six months. <laughs> oh, but I, I am not regretting all that. You like being in charge. <laughs> Adams, so you're not a gate man. <laughs> oh <my God>. uh, <laughs> yes, God. it is occupational hazard. Anyway, there's a little problem in one of my branches. Yeah. And Jenny, my PA, called that my present is needed. So I have to go. Hmm. Uncle Adam, so you are rich? Uh, not really. But I am not poor either. Good. <laughs> but wow, really, I don't know what to say. <sighs> Come on, you don't need to say anything. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I don't say anything. <laughs> so, what about I come by on Saturday to pick all of you to my house? At least so you know where I'm staying. Huh. Okay. Mm, I think I like that. <laughs> Me too. Uh, Uncle Adam, uh, can we take a toast? Uh, I think it's not time for toast yet. Uh -oh. Yeah. You see, sometimes we think that all our children need from us are material things. But it goes beyond material things. They need our love. They need our attention. They need someone to care for them. They need someone to listen to them. They need a friend. Be that your children. And they'll be fine. Yes. That's true. Uh, Krisa, now I can have the toast. Okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you, my darling. Thank you, dear. Yeah. Cindy, stand up. <laughs> um, yes. So we toast to a happy family. Okay. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Hooray.